Hey there, heretics. This is Table of Gaming. I'm Isaac. And I'm Brandon. And we're here to bring you Zone Mortalis Battle Report. A Zone Mortalis Battle Report. Yes. So as you know, <laughs> we usually play Conquest. We did the rap uh, we did a review of our heresy experience at uh Ironweld. So today we're gonna do something a little different, and we're gonna do a battle report for Sector Control for Zone Mortalis for 30k. I'm gonna be playing the World Eaters. And I'm gonna be playing the Sons of Horus. As expected, the Sons of Horus are being attacked because the World Eaters are a very aggressive bunch. And we're going to see who can control the most sectors in this heresy game. So the World Eater list is using the... Uh, fuck, I forgot that. I'm going to pull up my list so I can read the right, the correct right of war. So the World Eater army is running the Crimson Path. It's the right of war that allows you to ignore wounds on infantry under specific conditions. Up front, we have a Terminator... Uh, command squad being led by a Praetor. All of them have Thunder Hammers and multi-combi uh, multi weapons. We have a 10-man tactical squad with the sergeant having artificer armor and a barb wit. Are those chain bayonets real or Yeah, I, they're real. Okay. The ones that you, you, you pay for them. Correct. Yeah. I wasn't asking if they were like real plastic. <laughs> no, no, no. They're, I paid for them. Gotcha. It's, and it's I paid for, I think, yeah. three or four of them. Nice. Yeah. Not everyone has it. It's just I had, so I built so a twisty wig. Um, Contemptor with a Kier's Assault Cannon, Power Fist, and Melta as the weapon in the hand. And then a seven-man Rampager unit, all armed with Phalanx and Jetpacks. The Jetpacks are here so they can reinforce cheaper because they have the Deep Strike rule. On the Sons of Horus side, we have the Warlord who is a Praetor with a Power Fist and a Volkite Serpenta. He is chosen by the Dark God, so every turn I'll be rolling a dice to see if he gets smitten, smited, smote, or if he gets a boon. I've got a Command Squad with the Legion Standard and two Chosen with Power Fists. I have five Seekers with no equipment. I have a unit of ten Despoilers with four, no, two Power Swords, Two plasma pistols, and the sergeant has a plasma pistol and a power sword. There is a Vexilla back here. The Vexilla broke off, so you'll see it on his base. Apothecary and ten tactical marines. Apothecary, ten tactical marines, and the sergeant has a sword. Contemptor with a Karis assault cannon. And that's a perfect thousand points. That is the Sons of Horus breaching force. Wait, am I a defender? Yes. That is the Sons of Horus Defense Force, as we seek to control this sector. We are playing the Zone Mortalis Core Mission Sector Control, where we gain one point for each of the objective markers that we control at the end of each game turn, as opposed to player turn. There is Critical Objective, which I don't go over much because it didn't really impact the game, and we are playing using the Necromunda Zone Mortalis tiles. We used 3x3 three three because we forgot that Zone Mortalis is supposed to be 4x4, four four, so that's our bad. I deploy pretty defensively. He deploys pretty aggressively. Makes sense. He's attacker. I'm defender. Let's jump into the game. The World Eaters start with the Contemptor moving forward into the open. The Seekers desperately try to hold it back with suppressing fire from their Kraken Bolters, but are unable to score any hits. The Praetor and his Tartaros command squad run to the middle objective, hoping to fortify that sector against their foes. And the World Eaters are not going to waste any time with shooting, so they go straight to the charge phase. The Contemptor declares a charge into the Seekers, who try to brace, but unfortunately fall back. And they extra unfortunately don't fall back enough to stop the onslaught. The Contemptor charges in... Through difficult terrain striking last, the Seekers score absolutely no wounds and are slaughtered completely to a man by the Contemptor, who consolidates deeper into the Heidi Hole, once occupied by the Seekers. Now that it's the Sons of Horus' turn, the Praetor finds himself blessed by the Dark Gods, gaining plus one strength and toughness. The Contemptor opens the door and then walks into the main chamber. The World Eater's Contemptor attempts to suppress it with the Karis Assault Cannon doesn't score any wounds. The Praetor and his command squad move forward. 
and the Contemptor turns and shoots at the Tartarus Command Squad, which displaces and ends up taking no damage. They stop a rend using their Berserker Assault Rate of War, failing to do any damage in shooting. The Contemptor then charges the Tartarus Command Squad successfully, despite the distance placed by the Displace, and the Command Squad from the Sons of Horus charges the enemy Contemptor, skirting the difficult terrain. Back to the Sons of Horus Contemptor, it swings wildly into the Command Squad, scoring two wounds, one of which is negated by the Berserker Assault, and then the other one ends up instant killing a Terminator despite two successful invulnerable saves. The Terminators then pile in back, the Praetor scores one wound, which the Contemptor saves against one of the brutal damage, and then the Command Squad itself wounds once with their Thunder Hammers, which the Contemptor saves against both points of brutal damage. The Sons of Horus Praetor's combat has the power sword wielding legion standard bearer pile in, cause one rend and one wound. The Contemptor saves against the wound and takes the rend damage. The Contemptor then scores two wounds at initiative, and the first brutal attack is connected to the Praetor, who saves all three, does not suffer instant death because he has toughness five from being blessed by the Dark Gods, and then he fails all three saves for the second brutal attack, perishing. The two remaining Command Squad veterans then pile in to avenge their master, score two wounds with their power fifths. One is saved, the Contemptor wins combat, but the Command Squad holds on. At the end of game turn one, the Seeker Squad has been destroyed, but the Sons of Horus have one objective, so they score one point. They are denying the center objective to the Tartaros Command Squad, who has line from Legion Standard, but the World Eaters do hold their home objective, also scoring a point. The Command Squad fighting the World Eaters Command Contemptor are also on a point, but that is being denied despite their Legion standard. So, overall, it's a tie. In World Eaters turn two, they make no movements, but their reinforcements do arrive with seven Rampagers on the flank board edge, coming to assault the Sons of Horus tactical squad that is holding the objective. The tactical squad attempts to intercept, scores 15 wounds, which translates to six unsaved wounds, killing three Rampagers, who do not end up failing the morale from the Hail of Bolter Fire. World Eaters yet again skip their shooting phase and end up charging the tactical squad with the Rampagers. The Rampagers attempt to brace, fail their morale test, and end up running down the hallway, pinned up against a door that they can't quite open when they're falling back. The Rampagers successfully charge despite the distance, helped by the fact that the distance isn't that big. They declare a challenge, which the tactical sergeant has no choice but to expect, except he does actually have a choice, but I just decide that he doesn't have a choice. He dies instantly, pretty much, because Phalax Blades give you plus one initiative when in a challenge. The other three Rampagers end up killing every tactical marine that is in engagement range at the same initiative. Tacticals don't make any hits back. End of combat, they fail morale and are swept. Goodbye tacticals, so much for 4++ from Heart of the Legion and being on an objective with an apothecary. Meanwhile, the World Leader's Contemptor crushes a Command Squad veteran and takes zero wounds in return, losing the combat, the Command Squad flees. The Sons of Horus Contemptor, on the other hand, gets one wound in, which is ignored by the Berserker Assault Red of War despite being Brutal 3. The Prayer Tor deals two wounds back, with the Dreadnought saving half of them uh, due to the Adamantic Field, but then the Command Squad finishes off the Contemptor, losing a member in the ensuing explosion. They then consolidate further onto the objective. This is where we call the game, because one fleeing Command Squad that probably will regroup isn't going to do a whole lot. I have a Tactical Squad and a Despoiler Squad left. They're not a good match for the command squad the contemptor and the rampager squad that's left so game over all right folks i guess that sons of horus predator wasn't chosen by the dark gods after all because he sure didn't last very long my rampagers they'd be rampaging straight <laughs> through your tax squad i did very good on the overwatch but the uh, losing the initiative role or losing them to uh, be, not even a sweep, just being pressed up against a door and like also 
not being able to pile in and make my I think that I probably could have piled in and gotten a few more attacks. Correct. I, uh, the failing six out of nine feel no pains on a four up. I was going to say. Also very unfortunate. If your Just, sergeant made the four up in the challenge, I think that would have been a big sway. Yeah, because I could have power sorted back. He could have power sorted back and he had the option yeah. to like, change things. Dice but. weren't in my favor this game between um, whiffing with a lot of attacks and just yeah. not making the saves. Uh, There's just nothing that I could do against I had a consistent, consistent wounds. That's, that's what you can do. You can do consistent wounds and I did brutal I, three attack going into the ether because i happen to attack an infantry I, doesn't feel fair gw fix this i <laughs> yes i will say i had consistent wounds because i had terminators with thunder hammers rampages with phalanx and then the contemptor and you did have a contemptor but i have a right of war that is significantly more impactful in this and into that right. because i have consistent wounding and i ruin your consistent yeah. wounding so that puts a huge amount of play back in my favor and also the um Right of War I have makes my Rampager's line. Not troop, so you still have to pay a little more to bring them on the table and that kind of stuff with more Talus points, but uh, I still have three scoring line units on here to hold uh, half the objectives, yeah. right? and I could have brought one in. Um, there was that objective on the platform off to the edge. I could have came in on there. It would have cost me two reinforcement points to do that, but I would have only been gaining one point a turn. And you're at the point where you're gaining three Correct. points for I, the rest of the game. I don't even know if I would unopposed. Uh, like I correct. can't do anything against uh, that. I think I would honestly just even hide my. And also, do know um, that you've got points for killing Praetor, your warlord, my warlord, and you've got points for killing my contemptor and two two elite units, right? Because I killed your seeker. No, seekers are fast, right? Yeah, they're fast okay, attack. Yeah. So just the one elite unit, but you also kill. Uh, the, I wonder if the command, I think it's HQ or elite. So I think that you got a point for the warlord, a point for the command squad and a point for the contemptor. So like if we played out the next two turns, the next two, possibly three or even four rounds, yeah, you'd be up to like 12, 15 points total. And yeah. I would be at best case scenario, like the number of rounds, because I would get one point per round and I've killed none of your units. Kill guys, but not units, yeah. So that was our... I don't know why I pointed. That was our inaugural Zone Mortalis. Inaugural? Is that the right word, or is that, like, yearly? What? Do you know? No, I think Inaugural is, like, the first one. I think so. Yeah, so that was our first Zone Mortalis battle report. Let us know um, what you think. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you want more. Let us know if you liked the... I kind of changed up the format. Well, we'll see how true that is when I actually edit it, but I did... I filmed it in a different way, so the result should be kind of different. Let yeah. me know if you liked that or hated that, and you would prefer more of the Conquest style. And if you've only watched this, go watch one of our Conquest videos and tell us about that. Anyways. As always, like, follow, subscribe. As Isaac said, let us know how you like this, if there's anything else 30K or other games related. Take a look at other things we have in this channel, and we'll see you next time. See, no, no, no. I always sign off. And you're not picking up on this. And you're always, like the last three videos, I think you made it awkward because I always want to sign off in Conquest. It's see you in the next Conquest. In this, it would be see you in the next Heresy. But you're always like, oh, see you next time. And then I have to be like, okay, yeah. See see you in the next con. No, let's see you in the next Conquest. Ah, shoot. See you in the next Heresy. <laughs> <laughs>